Hey there, boys and girls. We're back at it again. We got the, the three-point uh, the lift cover off the, the Ferguson TEA20. Um, we could get it to go up. It went up fine. Wouldn't go down. So we disassembled it. Now we're just cleaning everything up out of here. We uh, it was all full of silicone. It's full of silicone. Damn, I hate silicone sometimes. So rather than making a new gasket like we did. They used silicone and it was everywhere. So, unfortunately, we got some silicone debris going on, and we're trying to clean that up. So we took the three-point cover off um, to try to get into what's going on there. It was a lot of rust in there. So what happened with this thing is that there is a seal back here. You can see where this is all rusted out. There's a seal there um, that holds out water. It's made of felt. And that's compromised. So what that did was the under we pressure washed this because I couldn't see any way of getting the, the crap out of there. So that's the underside of it. We got all the water out, or sorry, all the crap, and uh, we used diesel fuel to flush out the the sump. So we're gonna see where that leads to. A lot of debris, boy. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of debris. Plug, just Look at it all down there, it's horrible. Yeah, more geek, eh? Good God. Pump so has got to be plugged up. So we're going to be rinsing that out some more. Yeah. Get some of that. We're just using diesel fuel because the, the heating oil tank is full of it in the basement. And it's, yeah. So we're trying to rinse all this ledge out. So we're going to keep at that and uh, we'll get back to it. While you're waiting for us to get this cleaned out, we got to clean these the gasket surfaces here. So you can see it's all silicone. Everything is silicone. And whatever's on the outside is the same on the inside. So all this stuff is breaking off and getting into everything. Because uh, believe it or not, silicone is not impervious to oil. And that what's on the oily side breaks off. I've seen this in pro late model cars with silicone stuck in the rear ends some stock cars that have oil pumps actually in the differential and the oil pumps were all full of uh silicone i mean you use this stuff you got to be careful with it you got to use it sparingly you know it's not like uh it's not like bro cream you know you just don't go slathering all over everything a little dab will do you when it comes to silicone and uh, yeah, anyway, let's get back to this and then we'll get back to use. So while you're waiting, hit the subscribe button and uh, we'll, we'll keep on. Hmm. Hmm. So, uh, where are we? So we completely washed out the sump. There was more cheese and it looked like cottage, it looked like expired cottage cheese in there that had gone bad. So we just kept pumping it out, pumping it out. I tried uh, diesel fuel and a spray gun. And it was mediocre at best, so you said, you know what, we'll hit her with the pressure washer. So we hit her with the pressure washer, and then the problem with hitting it with a pressure washer is water. So we whaled on it with um, 10W30 motor oil, because we had some cheap stuff around. In the spray gun. And we put that in the spray gun, and we whacked it all over what we That's could. So we got the bearings all done, we started the engine, we right. ran the pump. We now have the problem solved why the three point would not go down is because oil would come up this transfer port, but it would not go back down. And that meant that the valve was messed up. So we were playing with the valve and blowing at the same time and all of a sudden the spool popped out. And this thing now moves freely in and out. There's the movement of the valve. Believe it or not, there's a valve on there. And that was not happening. It was stuck. It would only just go tick, 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 tick. So we got that. We got the cover cleaned out. Uh, there's our homemade gasket. We spayed some uh, gasket sealing on there. What is that called? Permatex High Tack Spray of Gasket Sealing. Um, see, it holds and seals cut gaskets. So that's that's a misleading statement. Spray a gasket. You're not really spraying a gasket. Well, you are, but you're holding it in place. It's not a gasket re replacer. It's a gasket, what do we call that? It's, 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 
it, it modifies the gasket. There, I got it out. That's the goop that came out of there, if you, in, case, in case you wondered. Look at that, eh? Mmm, nice. So that, we're all done. So, we had one problem when we took it apart. We undid four bolt nuts that we weren't supposed to, but we don't know because we never had it apart before. And the cylinder fell down inside the box, which is okay because the lid was coming off. But there was a little spring in there. So we think we know where we got it. Um, you got to go, it's like doing gynecology. You got to go through these holes to do all the work. So we're going to go through this hole and that hole, this big one here on the side, to hook everything up. We got gaskets made for that. Um, I don't know if we're going to be able to show it or not. We'll try. I'm going to try and see. It's This is... It's a, you're looking through the little side holes to get the... Yeah, well, I don't know what we can show you. It's like when we did the snowblower video. I mean, when, once your hands are in the bottom of the snowblower, there's nothing you can see but the back of my hand. We People, well, why didn't you show it? Why didn't you show what you were doing? Because it's impossible. Sometimes it's impossible to video this stuff because there just isn't this, the, the line of sight. So there we go. Ferguson TAA three-point lift system. Whew, we're working on that and uh yeah where are we at now we're going to try to put this back together again the, the, i bought some diagrams from england and they're proven to be useless i don't know this is the picture that i got out of it i'm not sure you can figure anything out out of that i think you can figure a little bit out um so we figured this out we figured there was three piston rings. We found the one you couldn't see. System. We got the linkage system. Valve. Yeah, that doesn't show up well. Crude drawings. Yeah, it doesn't doesn't show you the connecting lines that a normal drawing would. I'm not sure what the hell that is. Archaic vintage. Spool. That's the spool. Look at that. There's the spool right there. Right? Maybe so this goes correct. down on top of that, and that's the spool. Yeah. That's the relief valve. The relief valve is on top of the spool. Well, there you go. And these are weird pumps, eh? They're boxes that run on cams. And the boxes, this is a small box, runs into a big box, and this is the piston plunger right there. Craziest pump you ever seen. Anyway, and those are the outlet valves, outlet checks. That's the impeller? No, that's just nothing. Okay. There's the pump, those are the pistons. And this one appears to be single stage. I gotta find one. Or is that like that twice? That's like that twice. Two, anyway. Two stage, one set of pistons is dispersed and the second set's the second stage. Yeah, but you First got a, you got a piston on each side. side, right? So you got a, you, they've omitted the second side for clarity. So this is the same over here. Yeah. And it's going like this, yeah. back and forth, back and forth. So basically what that is, uh, what do you call that? A bottle jack on its side, right. times four. Right. Powered by the motor. All right, let's get at her. So, stand by. Mm. Holy Moses, was this ever a treat? We had to get two of these pins in from the backside outward to put the cotter pin in. Now, the big trick to this, as you could probably well already guess, take the wheels off. It's just crazy trying to work here because this, this, is, this is the point of view. And that there, you can see where the wheel would be, where my head is. You can't wheel it off. So I'm telling you, put your machine up on axle stands. Hey, we got them on special plates so they don't sink in the asphalt. Put it on axle stands, and that's how you get this done. F gasket flange, beautifully prepped. You can see like a mirror finish almost, so that's done. Uh, we're putting the cover bolts in now. There's a spring up here. These TEAs are nuts. See that spring? You can see it. I know you guys can see it right there. I'm pointing to it. No, that's going to be too long, no. That spring, you have to put it on this yoke and attach it to the bottom end of the cylinder. There's a hole at the bottom end of the three-point lift arm cylinder. So huh. Those are for the fucking um, side covers too, eh? Yeah. So what we need to do is not swear in the videos and then... Uh, Sorry. Yeah, we got to try to get this together. So we got this far. We're getting the lid put back on. Now we're going to connect up the PTO engagement. And uh, where's that gasket? Have you sprayed it yet? It's glued on the front side. All right, oh, whatever. That we're at. Okay. So that gas, this lever. Oh, this is going to be fun. So that lever's got to go. Are you sure, Sean? Holy Moses. Let's have a look at this. Standby. 
All right, order of reassembly is top case goes on first. You put the two the two uh, the two pins in each half of the uh, the linkage that rides up and down from here. That linkage is going to go in for the quadrant. The next the next cover that goes in is the PTO cover, and why that is is because you have to look from this side. To make sure the knob for the PTO, the opposite end of the shaft, is in between the on the shift shaft. There's two flats. That knob's got to be in the middle, so it's got to look like that. The knob goes in like this, in the middle. You got what I'm saying? You'll see a flange and a flange. The knob goes in the middle, and it shifts by moving the rod like that. I can't show it to you because you can't see. Well, you can see it. There, you can see it. There's the two flanges, and you can just see right there the knob sticking up. That's how that looks. And obviously, you can't put that in from the other side. This is the dipstick side, the access port. So that's what you want. So we're getting the lid down. I'll make another gasket for this side, and then that'll be buttoned up. There should be one long bolt below that holds up the the running board so in one spot there should be a long bolt okay 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 and that holds up the running board uh, okay on the um the running board yeah it hooks into that's right it hooks the back into end cover. okay stand by okay we're just torquing up the um the bolts for this third this Cover. master assembly thing here <laughs> Sorry, this top cover with the swing arm, sorry. Lift arms. Lift arms. We didn't have a spec, but we are lubricated, so we decided to go 30 foot pounds. And oddly, it feels soft enough, but. So when you're taking yours apart to take the cover off. You don't take the middle bolts out because that's your pump. Don't take these four out because that's holding up the cylinder. That's your cylinder, sorry. Okay, that's it. That's torqued. I'll pull pause, we'll be back in a sec, folks. Okay. Well, there you go. There's the oil that come out of the transmission. Do you want to call it that? Good thing I said, let's check the oil in the transmission and see if we're okay. Yeah. Well, there's no globs coming out, right? John, Jake, no, no, no chunks or nothing. Chunkies, no. no. So whatever oil was trapped in the transmission, other than moisture contaminated, stayed okay. Well, that's a good thing. There's no gears or anything in there. No, we can live with that. All right. Huh? Would you look at that? So what do we got left? We need a gasket for the quadrant. Got some metallic shavings in the bottom of the plug. Yeah, well, it's a transmission. Definitely. Some free anti-seize. No, that's horsepower glitter. Okay. So where are we at too? This whole tractor is put together with 716 bolts, eh? Yeah, it's weird, eh? What England did? They like that weird size. You know that? It's not it's uh yeah. It's weird. It's, it's it's not three eighths and it's not half inch. That's the only thing I can say. It's seven sixteen threads. But it's uh, imperial. It's not uh, or SAE, I guess. It's not. Uh, Did that Rachel work on one of these? Who? The Rachel girl, or was it a, was it mine that she? No, she was on a Ferguson, right? Those are made in Detroit. That was the the, the predecessor to the Massey Ferguson. But and it was the American-made one. It's a TO. Stuff inside for the pins. And no, the no, it's a whole different trans. It's a whole different pump setup. It's not laying in the bottom like this one is. It's suspended up in the air. It's got a suction filter on it. Where do you see that one? We leave that open and see if there's everything is working properly. 
Yeah, yeah we gotta pour oil on it though. You gotta the put dipstick, oil on it. You got that? Yeah, it's done. The dipstick, dipstick though. Yeah, it's on the thing. Well, it's the next day, boys and girls, and this thing is kicking our ass. Um, we really think that it's this problem right here, the draft control. This, the play in here. Now, if you can hear that, that's affecting the internal linkage. And I can't set this up till we get the replacement parts. There was a washer in here. There's a felt washer. There's a cup. I took it all apart. Uh, where'd the cup go? There was a cast iron cup. Oh, it's right here. It's broken too. And because that's out, that's allowing more play. Um, yeah. So I got to get the parts. Now, unfortunately, the only place I found the parts was in England. So I got all, all tractor parts .ca. I'm looking at them. I, I sent a letter or email in to Sue. To she, see if she can find me the parts that go in the draft. This is called the the draft control um, plunger assembly. There's this is a sheet metal cover right here. There's supposed to be a felt washer. Uh, this part here might be compromised, but the other thing is to get it. I can't. I have to be able to unscrew the yoke. And in order to unscrew the yoke, unfortunately, it's seized together. I have to be able to unscrew this. There's a rod in here. This screws on the end of the rod, and that's how you set it up. And there's supposed to be no play in this. So, it immediately, I believe, it's affecting the control on this. But we have to get it figured out. Everything we did internally is okay. We're just going to have to go back in and check it all again. We may be pulling it apart. If I can't get this apart, then we're going to have to pull the whole thing apart again, which is part of the course. But I can't finish the video and show you a working three-point because uh, there's, I can't set the linkage up. It's just that that's, that's the long and the short of it. There's no way to do it. So I'm going to close the video now, and uh, we're going to have to get back to it. Probably going to take at least a week or two weeks to get the parts that I'm looking for. Because right now, when you start it up, it goes shooting straight up, but it doesn't have any force. And this thing was holding up that bush hog with two people standing on it, and those arms would not come down. So we know it's ca we sh we know it's capable of lifting that. So it's just a matter of going through it all again and figuring it out. But there's no point tearing it down till I get the parts for this guy here. So there we are. That's it for the video. Uh, I was hoping to show you guys a nice working system it's running better not perfect but it is running better um yeah that's about all i can do with it right now is keep working and try to get that that adjustment assembly kind of get that unseized and see if we can go so anybody like subscribe ring the bell check back off and thanks to uh, bundy bear's shed in australia i looked to him for some inspiration on this because i got tons of them over there this is not like a massey ferguson uh, 35 not even close and that's what I'm used to working on, so I had to do some research. But uh, yeah, and there's uh, another young lady, Kim, I think her name is. She's from England. She has them. So just look online to get some, some help. And uh, stay at it. If, if I can do it, you can do it. And anyway, that's it for today. Talk to you later. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, check back off, and see you soon. Bye-bye.